Australia, you're watching Just for Laughs on 10. Let me just try to turn upside down for you. Ah, uh, well, here we are on the streets of Montreal, and clearly the people are attracted to the light, much like moths in our own country. Would anyone like to talk to the people of Australia? Could you just say, uh, where are you guys from? We're from uh, Australia. Yes, where in Australia? You ask a lot of questions. No. <laughs> You're not one of those stalker types, are you? No. We're just a film crew from Australia. We're catching some conversations with people on the streets of Montreal. What's all the crocodile hunt for? Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. He's yeah. a friend of you, but he's... Yeah. Uh, well, he's passed away. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, he's actually a good friend to every single person on the face of the planet. And not just people, but also animals as well. That's yeah. what made him truly individualistic and interesting. Also, he liked insects. I don't know if you know that. And fish, up to a point. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. It's amazing. Makes me know more words than most Australians. Could you say a big hello to the people of Australia and... Uh... Just turn up the bass. Turn up the bass on your TV right now, otherwise you will blow your eardrums out. We love Australia! I want to be one, two, three! They're going to be someone's mothers one day. Good drawings for some stylish ripping from the satin suited Elon Gold. What's up? Yeah, this is exciting. What a show. What a show. First of all, how about another hand for me? Yeah. Thank you. What a show this is. I'm excited. Who's excited? Ladies, uh, show a breath. So many women here tonight. Enjoy being topless. Quick show of breath. How many? Never works. <laughs> just cleavage, though, huh? A lot of cleavage here. A lot of cleavage. No nips. Just cleavage. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Why is it that the nipples are the only part of the breast you can't show? Always. Like on TV or in magazines, they have little black rectangles just over. I'm watching the Girls Gone Wild commercial. This girl, she's standing there with her shirt up. They're out. She's like, you can't see what's under these fingers. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of me whipping my penis out, just covering up the hole at the end. You can't really see it. You want to see the whole thing, you got to buy the DVD. It's ridiculous is what it is. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I was just at Starbucks for the last few hours. I don't know if you... I love Starbucks, and it's fun over there, it's fun. Like when you give your order, and sometimes they ask for your name, I like to just look at them and go, I'm Batman. Because <laughs> there is nothing better than watching a barista stand there and be like, I have a latte for Batman. <laughs> is a big issue with uh, Obama and everything. See, his blackness does not concern me at all. I'm not really worried about that. I am worried about his name, okay? It not only rhymes with Osama, it has the word bomb in it. And with the middle name being Hussein, Barack Hussein, Obama, why doesn't he stick more U.S. enemies into his name? He should call himself Barack Hussein, Kim Jong-il, Ahmadinejad, Obama, Hitler while he's at it. It's ridiculous, and Oprah's trying to help him out. Could you imagine if Oprah was president? Imagine the State of the Union address. I have a surprise for y'all. I bought Canada. The Middle East is always a big issue on the campaign trail. Most Americans, myself included, we don't know what to make of the Middle East. It's very complicated and confusing. Most of us are just like, Okay, here's all I know. Hamas, evil. Hummus, delicious. <laughs> and I believe that's how Hamas got elected over there. They thought they were voting for hummus. Because <laughs> there is no way that a people would elect an evil terrorist group unless they mistook them for a yummy Mediterranean dip. <laughs> they must have been at the ballots like, uh, hummus? Yeah. Hummus. We love hummus. What am I gonna not vote for hummus? I mean, come on, who doesn't like hummus? Well, maybe the Israelis.
is they don't like it. It's not that they don't like it, it's just that they prefer falafel. <laughs> Incidentally, there's a Middle Eastern comedian right now doing that same bit, only he's making fun of how we chose our last government. Uh, there is no way that the people would elect the evil President Bush unless they mistook him for a vagina. <laughs> Like Bush. And it's not that they don't like Bush, it's just that they prefer dick, you know.